coming, Harry. It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor. Follow us. Sorry, no time to talk. Pardon me. Hi, I'm Arthur. I have a smashing collection of non-magical cricket balls. Sorry, no time to chat. is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. Hi, would you consider a trade? What do you have? I have flubberworm mucus for a limited time only. Press on the yes button to accept the trade or the no button to decline. These are becoming hard to find. Sorry, I've run out of stock. You'll have to come back later. Oh, sorry. I just sold my very last item a moment ago. trying my patience, Potter. Hi, would you consider a trade? Hello, Harry. Oh, hello, Nick. Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, you'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 silver wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds.
I wonder why this door is locked. Oh well. I hope I don't see you in the infirmary this year, Mr. Potter. If I get some patience, dear, you'll have to make yourself scarce. Remember where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash, and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter and a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. What was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. I must have been hearing things.
back to break more valuable school property. I said, move along. Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, Third Class, honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictus Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra? is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish Pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky! Clear your mind completely, Harry. Don't even think about me. And concentrate on the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? Round one, begin! Very close! Keep it up! You're almost as good as me! Very close! Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin. Fabulous work, Harry! Aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rictus Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Welcome, Harry Potter, to my famous Rictus Sempra challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Try and find them all. 
Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ready to begin? Good luck! Three, two, one, go! Firecrabs are nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of... Uh, well, at you. You can stun them by casting Richter Separate on them. Then you can use Flipendo to push them around. This indicates that a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. Richter Separate! That's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Richter Sempra will stun them, and then you can use Flipendo to push them around. Gnomes are a greedy lot. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them. Flipendo!
Mr. Potter, you have completed my Rip to Sempra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. <laughs>